Yep, we're back out again. Out today, glorious afternoon. A little bit breezy, but not bad. But we're out testing a new piece of equipment. Find out further along. Okay, so I'm out on the Ribble today, just for a change. I haven't been out in it for ages, but uh, I notice when you get up to 15.1, 15.2, power just cuts off and you feel that drag. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any way you can de-restrict the Ribble. I know you can with other, like the Bosch motor, you can get, uh, you get something that can restricted basically so I'm just wondering if you can with the Ribble surely for other countries i.e. not the UK that are limited to I think it's 15.1 surely they must have unrestricted motors I'd be interested to to know on any other Ribble owners from other countries if yours is restricted to 15.1 or you can go faster. I mean, I can go faster, but you just get the drag. The motor cuts out. So then you use pedal power. Who knows? So as you can see, I have a drone. Took the plunge. To somewhere up there, it's on its way down. Should be landing. The sun is that bright I can't see. Hopefully it should be landing. But right beside me. 35 meters. Oh I can see it now, it's dropping out of the sky. You won't be able to see that. But it's coming down. This way. Yeah, I was getting a bit too close to them the grasses and the propellers catching it, so, so yeah, that's what's landed. I've just done a little flight, basically followed the path of this old rail line, that way, and that way, and had a bit of a look over that way as well. So it's just a small one, under the 249 grams. So it'd be ideal, I can use this when I'm out on the bike, because it's got the active trace. I can use it when I'm out in the, in the hills, just to get some uh, drama shots. So yeah, I'm still learning. 
a lot to learn. A lot to take in, but it does make it a lot easier when having this uh, <laughs> controller. It basically tells you what to do. But uh, yeah, I'm halfway through that battery, so switch it off. It would be good if I could uh, do an update on it and get rid of that 15.1 or whatever it is limited on it. Just cuts out. You know, it's. I'm sure, I'm sure our uh, counterparts in other countries will have unrestricted. So yeah, please leave a comment if yours is. Maybe where we can find out if we can de-restrict them. But yeah, as I said, I haven't been out in it for a while, so I thought I'd give it a blast out. I've been out on the old normal pedal power, trying to keep my fitness up. But today I just thought I'll do a quick video on this one. It's awfully dusty out on that track, so I'm going to push on a little bit further. Yeah, it's surprising what a month does. I think the last time I was down here, there was plenty of room either side. But uh, yeah, spring has definitely sprung. Some beautiful colours down here. Yeah, so this old railway line crossed here. I just left. I think that's the old station house, and there's the old. It's a pity we can't get up. We think it's private land. So. Yeah, so when I do get chance, I'm going to do a bike camp using this e-bike, e-assist. Got one pan here. I've got the other one. I'll get my tent on here, and I've got a, ro a front roll pack. Um, for me sleeping bag and me bivy uh, for me tarp even but uh, it'll be a bit extra weight but it should be doable for fully charge the battery give myself a good 50 60 mile range and I can do 25 out to 30 and the same back A bit of drama fire engine heading into the country somewhere come up this road so I mean there has been a lot of dry weather it could be like a, a barn on fire or something possibly so I don't know if you can see in this light but yeah. it's gone to orange so it's below 50% I've just checked my phone, so it's 40%, so I've got about 25 miles left. But uh, we'll see how it performs tonight when I recharge it, see if we get the uh, purple flashing light. I've only got about 10, 12 miles to get home, so plenty in the tank. Absolute stunner. I can even see the lakes from here. Look, this camera won't pick it out. I can just see Skidder over there. Yep, there's Blink Catherine. Beautiful. Right, just stop for five. We're on about 18 miles, so. Oh, that saddle. It's a charge one there, but. It's a bit uh, sore on the old backside, I'm going to have to replace that. Any uh, recommendations out there for a decent saddle? I usually like the ones with the drop out here. You know, a bit of a gap down here. I'm going to have to have a look. Oh, I'm going to have to shelter. Bit of shade here off this tree. I don't know if you can see, but we've gone into the red. So I just checked, we're on about 12 mile left, it says, in range. So it's fairly been scrambling through it, whether it's this heat, we would have thought it would have had the opposite effect, the heat would have lasted longer. But maybe the motor's working harder and uh, it's eating the battery. 
the uh, check on the temperature of the motor some motor data there we go uh, temperature 29 degrees it's not red hot like is it battery data temperature 29 degrees so I don't know if that's hot or not I've got 18 percent charge left and a 10 mile range so I've got about six seven miles to get home so okay we've just got the flashing red so I think that's below 10 percent yeah so I'm getting a really fast flash red I'm down to about six miles range and about 10 percent but it's fairly eaten through the battery I'm sure when I set off I had 40 miles in it I've only done 20 to be about 25 26 when I get home so yeah take what it says on the app with a pinch of salt because clearly it's not always right I have been running it the amber mode about 60% so probably probably why because it's a bit windy but yeah I wonder if a stage it'll come it'll just switch itself off Okay, the battery's still showing 10% with a six mile range. Um, it's a bit odd that, because I was on that about five mile ago. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, it is flashing erratically red now. So that's it. Probably in its lowest point. I need to have a look in the, uh, no, not in that one, not in that one. Where do I find it? So difficult to flicking. Yeah, here we go. Engineering mode, e-bike information. No, not that one. Status. No, not that one. Motor map. No, not that one. Engineering mode. Yeah, that'll give you the. So it's saying 27 degrees, so it's gone up slightly, I think, because it was 26.9, so yeah, it's getting warmer. Right, that'll do it. Okay, it's fully charged, so I'm going to pull the cable out, see if, uh, ooh, if I can get it out. There is one hand. It's tricky. Here we go. I switch it off and back on again. All is good. That's just connecting to my phone. All the different modes. Yep. So, the purple flashing light seems to have done one.